Is that a good angle? It's the best angle you're going to get. Does my chin look bad? Yeah. Welcome to another episode of Food Chasers. We are here at Pops. This is a soda shoppy and diner, gas station, fill-up station, whatever. We are in Arcadia, Oklahoma, off Route 66, original Route 66. So I'm joined, of course, by Billy and by Norm. We're going to go inside and check out the place. What do we got? 
chili cheese fries. You wanna know how they are? Yeah, yeah, uh, kind of. <laughs> that's kind of the point. Okay. The chili's good because it's 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 kind of spicy. It's got you know the meat and beans, so the chili's got really good flavor. Cheese, I mean, just look at the cheese. I mean, the cheese just isn't good. It's, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I'm, Bill, was Billy disappointed? Yeah, Billy was disappointed. Yeah, a little disappointed. We got the onion rings. We'll see. All right, so the uh, the cheese isn't getting very high high uh, remarks. High marks? High marks. Not getting very high marks from, uh, from my counterparts here, so I'm gonna try it myself. I'm gonna see. I want to see what the, all the hubbub is about, or lack thereof. Like cheese whiz or something, like fucking Ricos or something. Oh. And the fries, the fries aren't amazing either. What do you think of the fries? Fries are kind of like steak and shake with, uh, with no flavor, honestly. Yeah. Right. Yep. So I think I think yeah I think the cheese is bad. The chili's all right. It's not great. It's okay. Uh, it's about the only saving grace on the whole plate. So, root beer float, not up to par. Chili cheese fries, <laughs> not up to not up to par. Yeah. Let's see how the onion rings and burger are. What? Why did you just smash? <laughs> What did you get? Let the people see it. I got an onion burger. Wait, it's a burger. How do you fuck up a burger? Really? Now I made it. I made it a three patty. So. <laughs> Alright, take a bite. I did take a bite. You bit the meat. Take a bite of it all. Dude, it's gonna be messy. It's okay. Take the bite and what do you think? Alright. <laughs> I don't know, ma'am. The bun is really good. The meat is really good. But everything else is like, you can't really taste that, so. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not feeling this. <laughs> I'm really not feeling this. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just got the uh, cheeseburger. Two patties. Yeah. Well, that meat actually is good, isn't it? Good meat. Got some onions, some tomatoes. Fucking cheese, right? Oh, wow.
Sit up a little, because my, my wrist is twisted. Alright. Go ahead. <laughs> that ain't okay. gonna work, is it? Here's the problem. <laughs> what? It's like 130 pounds on this arm, because it's uneven distributed. Ah, okay. That's the problem. Okay. Let's do it. has gotta be a different way. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let me, let me try to grab you right here on your, right, right here. Okay. That way you're more this way. Okay. Go. Okay, final thoughts on Pops. Really cool soda shop, have tons of soda flavors. Food, not so good. I'd call it a tourist trap, honestly. Um, we got our fries like way early. Fries weren't that good, we got our burgers. The meat was good, but I don't know, just a bad experience overall. I wouldn't recommend this place for food, but have an awesome soda selection. If you really enjoy the 50s experience, the whole diner atmosphere, soda pop, root beer floats, you name it, this is a great place to go. Unfortunately, if you want a good burger and good fries, look elsewhere. Yeah, maybe they just need to hire a new chef, chef or get a better menu. But I would recommend the place for the experience in the soda pop alum. And really, what more do you want? It's called Pops. I think Billy and Norm said it best. Um, definitely come for the experience. They got different kinds of sodas from literally all over the world they got some like Australian stuff in there and whatnot uh, flavors all kinds of flavors come for the soda don't eat here <laughs> the food was way less than perfect unless, Not, you're, unless you're starving yeah, yeah yeah I mean if you're starving eat here but honestly it's only about 20 minutes outside of town outside of Oklahoma City uh, so just just wait the food wasn't that great. Like he said, the fries came out before the burger. Personally, I don't like that. I like to eat them both. Uh, the meat was good. I had a regular plain ass cheeseburger, so it was pretty pretty decent, honestly. Onion rings, the waiter claimed that they are the best ever, and they damn sure weren't. They weren't no Sam's onion rings. Super soggy. Yeah, super soggy, right. Um, it's Honestly, the onion rings tasted like, like uh, Whataburger onion rings, which would be fine if this place were a fast food restaurant, and it's not. Uh, so come for the come for the soda, eat somewhere else. AJ, thanks for having me on another episode of the Food Chasers. See you next time. <laughs> He's on my neck. He's on my neck. <laughs>